578. I haven't slept in three days. I just ate six bugs in alphabetical order, starting with Carabus aronitans and ending with a dessert of Tetrix antelata. The information that I've uncovered from my automated deciphering has me closing in on the location of this event. An event I believe to be the opening of the vault. Echo Recorder and I are not together anymore, but I wish him the best and we remain friends, so that I can keep recording these messages. He agreed, because we need to complete what we set out to do, and document the intensive search for the mythic vault. It's not a myth. My birthday. I've been alone for an incalculable amount of time. A convict accidentally crossed over into my encampment this morning, and I allowed him to look about before I shot him in the back several times. I was immediately filled with regret upon doing this, because the human contact, no matter how awkward, would have been nice. I've decided his name was Leslie, and he had a troubled childhood where people would make fun of him for having a girl's name. And the torment eventually led Leslie to a life of crime and debauchery. There was a tattoo on his bum that looked not unlike the name Patricia. I might have imagined the experience day 684 I seem to be unable to leave camp anymore I've collected all of the information I need to be able to find the vault but I'm overcome with terror and instantaneous paralyzation upon any attempt to leave my confines I believe I have some kind of psychosis whatever it is I'm a prisoner of my own jail and I will not be able to find anything without help from an outside party I will put out feelers to see if I can get someone on this rock to grant me assistance. 
Perhaps I can send an off-world message to attract some vault hunters. Some company would be lovely. Signing out.